Hey, Sam here from Guitar.com. I'm with Adam from Fender Specialty Brands, and we're taking a look at the brand new Gretsch Streamliner Junior Jet Club model. So, Adam, Indeed. unbelievably cool once again. What can you tell us about these? Yeah, very cool. So, uh, back in uh, 2016, we first introduced the Streamliner range of guitars. Yeah. We uh, had the hollow body, the center block model, the center block junior model. And so, we thought high time to bring out a solid body model to complement the range. Uh, so, this is it, the Streamliner solid body. We're calling it the Junior Jet Club, as you said. Yeah. Um, and basically, you know, it's a stripped down rock and roll machine. Um, we've got it in four finishes, just real simple. It's a slab of wood, it's a neck bolted on, it's a couple of pickups, it's a volume and a tone control. Fantastic. And you just, uh, you just get on stage and rock out with it or do whatever you want with it. It's uh, really versatile, it's a um, great pa platform for modding as well and for um, messing about with. Um, NATO body, okay. solid NATO body, solid NATO neck. So NATO very close relative of uh, mahogany, so it has very similar properties. You can see the wood grain there, you can see how similar to Beautiful. mahogany that yeah. is. Uh, the one we're holding is Imperial Stain, so that's how you can see the wood grain because it's a stain. The other finish is all solid. We'll have a look at them in a sec. Tell us um, more about the pickups. Yeah, the pickups are the Gretsch Broadtron pickups. So uh, we introduced the Broadtron concept was originally introduced again with the Streamliners back yep. in 2016. We've since expanded it over the whole range of uh, Electromatics and Pro Series as well. But these are the Streamliner Broadtron pickups. And essentially, the idea with these is a, a slightly wider magnetic field than a classic Gretsch Filtertron. Okay. So you still get that Filtertron uh, clarity and fidelity that Gretsch is known for, but the, uh, the wider ma magnetic field gives it a little more, a uh, little fuller sound, a mm. uh, bit more fatness to it. So you're getting closer towards the sort of classic humbucker sound as well. Great. So you've got a little bit of both in there. Uh, a bit more output as well to drive the amp a bit harder. Uh, tortoise shell pick guard on these with a little bracket on there, so the classy touch, just to make it a little Gretschy. Um, real simple wrap around bridge, which is intonated. And you've got the grub screws there if you want to change string gauges or something, keep it in, in uh, tune. Uh, bound fingerboard, which is pretty good at this price point. Classic Gretsch uh, jet headstock with the die cast tuners. As I said, they are bolt on, but the, uh, the, we have the neck all matching the body. All so matching the body, uh, which is great. Gives it a smart look. Comes in at a really competitive price point as well, so how did you get it down to this price point? Well, that's the that's trick. Mm. NATO is part of that. You know, right. mahogany is coming harder and harder to come by the uh, the pure mahogany species, so uh, NATO is a good substitute for that. And, um, and yeah, just shopping around the factories trying to see who can uh, give us the best price, basically, because we we are pretty demanding. This is why it's taken so long right. to come out. And the streamliners yeah. originally, when we um, when we uh, were developing them, we, we tried several different factories. We wanted to get the right quality. We, we don't um, compromise. We want the right quality mm -hmm. at the price point we're looking for. So we always shop around to try and get it. So is that why it took you a while to get to making solid body versions then? Exactly. We, yeah. weren't we could have bought one out years ago and just you know, off the shelf and put our name on it, but we didn't want to do that. Yeah. We, had, we wanted to do what we wanted to do. Uh, I'll show you some other finishes as well. So that's the Imperial Stain. Um, up here we have a couple of metallic finishes which are really cool. This is a really nice finish which I'm going to try and get in the light for you guys. It's called Gunmetal. Oh wow. Gunmetal Metallic. We like this finish so much we put it on a load of other streamliners as well. We put it on the hollow body and on the lefty and uh, on a couple of other models. It's just uh, sort of greeny, grey, bluey, kind of lovely colour. Really goes well with that tortoise shell pick guard. And again, as I said, on all of these guitars the neck's painted to match the body. Give it a really classic, clean look. Um, Streamlines it, if you will. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> uh, gold dust, another metallic finish. Again, kind of a classic look there with that, um, that metallic gold uh, finish. Again, we've used this on a few different models. And what's the fretboard wood, sorry? The fretboard is laurel, I believe. Laurel. I'm going to double check that. Yes, indeed, it is laurel. Um, again, as we know, we've had a lot of issues with rosewood over the years, and yeah. the CITES thing has now been removed, the CITES mm. restrictions, but that's not to say that rosewood is is uh, no longer endangered. It's still endangered, so this is uh, we continue to use alternative woods because it's just, just better for everyone. Yeah, just to continue with that sustainability. Yeah, and laurel particularly, I mean, it looks great. It's got always got a very clean grain. It almost looks polished. Mm. It's a nice, hard piece of wood. So tonally and visually, it still looks, still looks apart. So that's the uh, metallic gold dust. And the final finish, probably one of my favorites, and I think yeah. you mentioned yours as well. My favorite too. Here we go. Vintage white. And to complement the vintage white finish, we've switched to cream pickup surrounds here. Yeah, particularly nice of those And the gold dashes. knobs instead of the uh, black knobs on the other model. And again, white and tortoise shell always complement each other. Just looks great. Absolutely beautiful to tell.
So uh, yeah, f manufacturer suggested retail price around 300 quid. So um, get a lot of bang for your buck. Doesn't get more competitive than that, does it? Indeed, yeah. So that's yeah, that's the Streamliner um, Junior Jet Club from Gretsch. Thanks very much. Read more about these guitars on guitar.com.